Hello designers, welcome back. This is update 0.43. I have a bunch of new changes for you, so let's get through them. Uh, first thing, as requested by the iCore, people who shoot iCore, iCore should be its own category. So I took the opportunity to uh, readjust this list here of props. So now you have uh, USB-SA, IPSC, IDPA, PCSL, uh, ISMOC, 3GUN, iCore and so forth. So I've uh, readjusted this list here and I put all the uh, shooting disciplines up top and now iCore has its own instead of being part of the miscellaneous category. I also did a lot of work for PCSL which we will talk about in a bit. So I wanted to talk about a, a way to switch between two modes of this tool. So if you don't know already, the default behavior of this tool is called free mouse mode. So if you go to settings, you see this here. Free, uh, historically, it was FPS mode, not free mouse mode, where what happens is the uh, cursor will move wherever you look, just like playing a first person game, right? So you can drop things here and you look around. You can move around as in like a normal first person FPS game. Uh, but then throughout the life of this tool, there was a, another suggestion where we wanted to build a free mouse mode so that you're not locked to your mouse position. Uh, because this is issues, right? So for instance, if I click up here in the middle of this target, uh, the view will always move to the origin of the object. And this is very difficult to fix. Uh, and so, and a lot of uh, people are like, okay, this is kind of confusing, kind of why, why is it moving uh, the, the screen? And this is something that I'm still trying to overcome. So the other setting, which is free mouse mode, will basically fix that. So what happens then is now your mouse is free and you're able to click on the target and move it wherever you want. Uh, and it's a much more intuitive interface. If you want to move your screen around, you just hold right, hold down right click. And then now you can move to wherever you position yourself. So let's say if I position myself over here and now I can start dropping things down, moving stuff around, you know. This is a lot more intuitive from my perspective. Some people don't like it. Some people prefer the original free mouse mode, but now you have a choice. So you can, you can switch between the two. And instead of going to settings to switch all the time, you can just hit control F1 now. So control F1 switches, toggles the mode. So now in FPS mode, control F1 switches back to free mouse mode. Okay, so that's one enhancement. The second one is PCSL. So if you go and let me just load up a PCSL stage. So I have a sample PCSL stage here. I mean, this is really, really crazy, right? I just put all the PCSL targets I can. They have uh, the carbine, carbine targets or rifle targets, the pistol targets, and then the clay targets and then no shoots and so forth, right? I talked about this in the last update. And so if you go over to the stage briefing now, you see there are a few things that have changed. In PCSL, after talking to Eric and uh, Max, who basically the founder of PCSL, uh, we are changing the scoring type. Uh, so it used to be time plus and points per second. And now I believe uh, they are going to change the official rules to, to call this standard and a new one called max shots, which is essentially Virginia count. Uh, I think this will, be, this will be reflected in the new in a Q1 uh, rules update. I don't know when that's going to come up, but uh, as, as, as I was building the WSB support for PCSL, I managed to uh, get in touch. Oh, well, er actually, Eric reached out to talk to me about adjusting this tool to match, properly match the PCSL rules. And so we were talking about it and we might as well just start uh, putting the support in the tool uh, now. And so we also have the new scoring types and in PCSL, uh, because of the K zone effect, uh, you don't really, they, they don't usually require odd number of hits and so in PCSL you have two four six eight uh, even number of hits um, normally uh, so auto determine now will auto determine will work with PCSL targets and you also you have now a support for stage briefing so you have a generate tool which automatically generates this for you uh, and not only that you also count the number of handgun targets there are on the stage and the number of carbine targets there are on the stage and list it out here and there's another new feature. This is not just PCSL specific, but it also works on all other um, uh, supported uh, return stage briefings, which is to override the hit count. So if you go over to USA and if you click on print, you see that this thing has best two hits on cardboard. Now there is now an ability to override this. So instead of saying comp stop bet best two hits on cardboard, you can say uh, best two hits on T1 to T3 uh, and then three hits on T4 to T5, 
if your stage has this kind of thing so now when you do this the scoring text will now be overridden by whatever you want to customize it to instead of it having being automatically calculated okay so this works now for most of the recent stage briefings uh, but in this case i'm just talking about pcsl let's go back here to pcsl we were talking about this so if we hit print now you see we have the format which i've heard from max that this should be called format not division and so if the format is two gun uh, there's no part time for this stage round count is now shown correctly for handgun and carbine so for you uh, PCSS shooters you know how many of these rounds to prepare uh, scoring will say standard best to it some paper you can override this if you click on the override function and then match points to a five and then the targets you will list all the targets for you and now we have page two as well so then you can easily change this logo if you want to you can change this logo and you can also change this logo depending on your match sponsors and stuff like that if you want to include uh, images here yeah. um yeah so uh you can now do this so these are all the pcl enhancements that we have in the tool one thing that doesn't really work yet is uh, if you go into simulate mode uh, the pcl scoring is not fixed yet uh, because pcsl introduced the k zone which is 10 points right and so the calculation for hits and scoring is not supported yet on the tool i'll get to that sometime in the future but the primary use for this tool is not simulation it's actually design so that's where i focus my time uh, to improve on this so yeah so these are all the changes can't wait for all the new pcsl rules to come up so that uh, we can get more pcsl stage designers to work on um, building cool stages for pcsl I personally would love to shoot a PCSL match. I mean, I know Marcel has been running this in our area a few times already. I look forward to shooting more of it. Uh, so that's it for now. Um, I, again, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank my Patreon subscribers. Thank you so much for the support. So if you're interested to become a Patreon subscriber, just go visit this link. Until then, well, have a great shooting weekend. Wishing you lots of alphas and I'll see you on the range.